Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am sharing with you another what's for dinner video. I'm just showing you a few things that we have made over the last week or so. Um, my voice is slowly but surely coming back, so hopefully this one will be a little smoother. Thank y'all so much for hanging around through me being sick and not posting as much and uh, barely being able to talk. I greatly, greatly appreciate your support. So let's jump into this week's what's for dinner video. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are brand new and you like this kind of content, and if you like grocery hauls and uh, daily life, uh, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you stick around. Let's jump in. All right, so this first meal is crock pot, chicken, and gravy, and then I made some instant mashed potatoes to go with it. So I've got three chicken breasts, boneless, skinless here. You could use any type of uh, boneless, skinless chicken that you prefer. I think you could also do this, um, you know, with bone and meat, but you're going to want to pull the bones out. Anyways, cream of chicken soup here. This is the 10 and a half ounce uh, can, and then a chicken gravy packet salt and pep well no salt you're just going to want pepper because there's salt in your gravy packet and your cream of chicken never you mind my dishes they got done okay and then you're also going to add garlic powder so i'm going to add my seasonings first and i've just got a crock pot liner here i love 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 these and i, I was so glad with being sick that i happened to have some on hand going to go a little heavy handed on the garlic powder but you do what you like to do here um, onion powder or minced onion is really good also, um, but yeah, then I add my seasoning packet. I have seen other people do this type of recipe, and they mix their seasoning packet with water first. I really find that that is not necessary, but it is totally up to you, and then you're going to see me mess with this can and decide, you know what, I guess I need a spatula. So, then I add my cream of chicken soup to the top here. And I'll just get all of that out and then kind of smooth it over the chicken. And um, I did add a little bit of water here at the end, which you'll see. But um, it's, you know, you don't need very much water at all. Um, because your chicken, you know, some of the water is going to cook out of that. All right, so let's get us some water and we'll add that to the top here. I'm going to grab my measuring cup so that I don't heavy handed put too much in here. Um but I'm just going to do about half a cup of water. And then once this has cooked a few hours, you'll be able to kind of stir it up, um, which you'll want to do if you are home. Um, but yeah, and then this is what the finished products looks like. This is after about six hours on low. Uh, you could definitely put it up on high if you needed to. At one point I turned it up on high for about an hour, but here is the creamy gravy that it makes. And the chicken was super tender that I was actually able to shred it up with just these tongs here. So you're kind of seeing me find the last few big chunks there and um, get that all shredded up. So that's what I'm doing here. And you can see it makes a wonderful gravy. Three chicken breast was great for the four of us. And um, the girls don't eat very much as far as the meat goes and so it definitely could have fed four adult servings with the three chicken breasts um, because we did have some left over so i'm just going to turn that off and keep that warm and then we also had salads and it's just some parmesan cheese romaine lettuce cucumbers and um croutons and then here's the instant mashed potatoes this is the idahoan brand this is just the butter and herb um, but we really like the other, the Parmesan and garlic baby reds. Here's a look at everything. This is my husband's plate. So I put his mashed potatoes down, put his chicken and gravy over it. We got some Sister Schubert yeast rolls we had thrown in the oven and our salads. And that was our super easy dinner. All right. So this is what is for dinner. This Sunday evening, we made copycat restaurant tacos. So we've just got some hard shell tacos, some of the old El Paso cheesy Mexican rice. We shredded up, I shredded up a block of Monterey Jack cheese and then we got some shredded lettuce in our uh, copycat recipe taco meat. And if you don't like taco seasoning packets, you should really try this. I did my own mix of seasonings and it is so much better. Um, forgive my voice, y'all know I've been sick. 
All right, and then the girls' plates, they've just got some chicken, <laughs> um, some of the tortilla shells, taco shells, some cantaloupe, and carrots, and a Danimals yogurt smoothie. So that is what's for dinner tonight. All right, our next meal, you have seen me make this countless times probably, and you're like, Brady, enough, we know how to do this. Um, but I, one of my go-tos is to make a simple Alfredo sauce and use some leftover grilled chicken um, and make chicken Alfredo. So I actually used the radiatory noodles with this this time, and that was delicious. Um, I am taking half a stick of butter and melting that in my pan. And then... I actually ended up using a little more cream than you're supposed to, but it worked out just fine. That's all right. Um, it does it does just fine. So once that water back there comes to a boil, don't worry, my hands are clean. Once that water comes to a boil, then um, I that I did salt. I will add about half of that box of radiatory noodles and um, let those cook up. And then once they are al dente, I will drain them so that they're not super mushy. So, once this butter is melted, then we will add in our minced garlic. You could use fresh minced garlic here, but I just use the Sam's Club Members Mark garlic. All right, water is boiling, so let's throw in our noodles. Use absolutely any noodles you have here. It will work just fine. Like I said, I used this half a box, and we definitely have leftovers. So, it makes quite a bit. Um, it makes enough sauce that you could actually have... A whole box of pasta to go with this sauce and it would be just fine so I'm adding in about three teaspoon tablespoons of minced garlic again like I said this is the members mark uh, that I get from Sam's Club in the huge container saves me so much time I love it um, and we cook with it practically every day um, but I just like to stir it around in the melted butter so that it doesn't burn um, and then once I mean, this literally took maybe a minute, and then I'm going to start adding in my heavy whipping cream. Um, you just want to kind of, you don't want to burn your garlic, but you do want to heat it up and get it incorporated. I added this entire pint of heavy whipping cream, and then I remembered that with the half a stick of butter, you actually only need half of that pint, so it didn't have the full stick of butter, but it had the full cup or full pint of cream, so, like I said, we definitely had leftovers. This recipe is really forgiving. Um, you, you really, you don't have to do too much. It's it's okay. It turned out great. Um, we did not complain. And so, once this cream begins to heat up, you do not want to let it come to a boil. You just want to bring the temperature up. And then you want to keep stirring it um, just until it is well heated throughout uh, once it is, then we will add in our cheese, and then I think you need usually about five or six ounces of cheese. You'll see here in a moment that my cheese was not quite full because we had already opened this bag, but um, I did add some more after the fact. So you can use absolutely any sort of Parmesan cheese. I have even made it with the shaky cheese in the jar, the craft jar. Is that my preferred favorite? Absolutely not, but it works, and this is a super quick meal. We already had the cooked chicken, and so all of this right here took me about 10 minutes to throw together in real time, and uh, we we had some 70-cent French loaf bread um, to go with it, and it made a delicious meal with a quick bag of salad, um, but it was homemade, not from a jar, and it was delicious. Is this like low fat and healthy? No, but it's homemade. You know the ingredients, just butter, garlic, Parmesan cheese, and heavy whipping cream. I like to add a little pepper and a little uh, basil or Italian seasoning to mine, but you don't have to do that either. Um, it is just such a great flavor and I really prefer it homemade. Once you make this homemade, you will have very, a very hard time going back to the jar. So, like I said, this melted really quickly, and you just want to keep stirring it until it's all incorporated, and then I turn the heat off, and then we're going to drain our noodles, make our plates, and dinner will be done. So, once all of this, like I said, is melted, then you are good to go. Your sauce is complete, and that would be the time that if 
you wanted to add some pepper or some Italian seasoning or basil or whatever, that would be the time to add that in here. <clears throat> All right, y'all, so here's a look at dinner tonight. And I'm trying to get rid of this shadow, but it's not working. There we go, a little bit better. Never you mind my dishes that I need to do. But here's a look at dinner tonight. We've got the radiatory noodles from Walmart. We only used about half the box. And then some leftover grilled chicken. A little bit of homemade Alfredo sauce, and I'll stir that all up. We've got a 70 cent markdown loaf of French bread from Walmart. It was already sliced, so that was easy peasy. I didn't even butter it or anything. We're just going to eat it like that, dip it in our sauce, whatever. They can have butter on it if they want it. Salad uh, with carrots, cucumbers, romaine, lettuce. I think that's a little bit of cabbage in there. And then some shredded cheese. And we are going to top it off with the Aldi Ranch. And I think that is dinner tonight. The girls basically have the same thing, just deconstructed. Um, and they're also having apples. So there's dinner tonight. All right, y'all, excuse the background noise and excuse my terrible voice. I've been sick and life is chaotic. But here's a look at dinner tonight. It's just the Innovation Orange Chicken. And I made some white rice to go along with that. And then still need to make my husband's plate. But I've got just some leafy romaine lettuce, a uh, salad mix that I had, some cut up cucumbers, some Parmesan shredded cheese, and some cucumbers. The girls have got little salads as well. And then the girls have some cut up grilled chicken that's left over, some croutons. They can either eat them or put them on their salad, whatever they choose to do, some plain rice, cucumbers, strawberries, and then she's also got blackberries. Um, one likes blackberries, one does not, so there you go. And then we're just going to put the Aldi Ranch on our dinner, or on our dinner. I mean, you could. We're going to put it on our salad with dinner, um, but that is a look at dinner tonight. All right, you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, again, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you have made or what you're going to make. And uh, what are some of your go-to meals if you're sick and you don't want to eat out, but you don't really want to cook either, or if you're just busy, what are your go-to meals? I would love to talk to you in the comments down below, and until next time, that's where I'll see you. Bye-bye.